Hi, this is Jason with McGuire's Clocks. Today we're going to take a look at a Colonial Molyneux. This clock was made in 1983, purchased from us probably early 1984. It is a solid cherry case with what I believe uh, to be an olive ash burl in the top of it. and in the base of it. The Molyneux was Colonial's top of the line from early 1980s to the late 1980s. They only made a few of each model every year, much less than their standard production line. beveled glass throughout the whole entire clock top sides and even the door glass which is kind of unusual to be beveled it is beveled also the dials the, or the face of the clock was specific to the Molyneux brand they didn't use it in any of their other parts of their colonial line clock is completely handmade and hand finished which is another unique trait to it um, mentioned before I forget this clock has every bit of paperwork with it including the door hanger that came with it originally that explained what it took to be a Molyneux uh, if you want to see some of that there's pictures of the brochure and the door hanger and the original warranty receipt on our Facebook page, there's a bunch of pictures of everything with the clock. Uh, just some of the other stuff that makes this different. And this is something you'll find only in the very limited edition, not even the presidential, but the limited edition Howard Millers and the top of the line slides when they were manufactured. All the door glass is put in with really nice wood trim and it's screwed in, not stapled in. Uh, the Howard Millers, when you get in their presidential line, it'll be a piece of quarter round that holds the glass in and it's stapled in, but it's definitely not this nice and it's not screwed in. And that's on every piece of glass, even this uh, kind of odd cut bevel in the front of this. It's got two separate pieces to hold the glass in. Uh, it's a really well made clock. I got this open, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Uh, the brass is all in near pristine condition. I'm sh there's gotta be something somewhere, maybe a, a little discoloration just from age, but otherwise I haven't found any scratches or dings in any of the brass. It's running a genuine Kenninger movement, brand new, just put in. We're still in the middle of timing it in. Uh, this gives you an option it didn't come with from the factory over here. It's not marked, but in this middle position, it actually gives you nighttime silent. So it'll turn off at 10 p.m. and come back on at 7.15 a.m. And then your chime selection is over here. You get Whittington, St. Michael, Westminster, and then a full silent to turn it off anytime you want to. Now the one thing we did do, and it can be removed, is this is the these are the people that owned it originally and the date they bought it some people like that and just so they know where the clock came from and who had it originally just the prom prominence of it uh, but we can remove it and fill the nail holes in and you'll never see them so i'm going to go ahead and show you what it sounds like it is set on westminster right now i believe Went too fast.
try St. Michael's here. It's going to be double the notes. got something playing in the background here. I'm going to give it a second for it to stop. All right. It also has a fully functional lunar calendar up here. So when set correctly, say this was what we were supposed to be on for the lunar calendar, this is how much of the moon you would see and this is the Earth's shadow right here. Uh, and that rotates once a day. All the filigree uh, is put on with rivets instead of just be being laid over and glued on. The chapter ring is screwed in. Uh, it's very, very well made. We have it on sale for $27.50. It includes free delivery and setup within 200 miles of Austin and a two-year warranty like any of the other new ones that we have on the floor. Uh, you can see pictures under McGuire's Clocks on Facebook, uh, and you can find us at www.meguire'sclocks.com. Thank you.